my angels and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Koshal and I make makeup, beauty, lifestyle -y videos here on YouTube. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button which is down there to keep up to date with all of my videos and also all of my social media are linked below as well. So like my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Snapchat, all of that good stuff. In today's video, I want you guys to first Pause this video and tell me which side of my face is high-end makeup and which side is low-end. In this video today, we are going to be going through some high-end versus low-end products, some dupes, and also how to create this makeup look, which I think is a really nice makeup look for autumn because it's not too dark, it's still got a bit of smokiness going on, it's got like a nice mauve nude lip, totally my style. If you guys want to see how to get this makeup look and also know which one is the high-end and low-end side, then please keep watching. First of all, I am going to... Where's my friggin' clip gone? I'm gonna... Put this headband on. There my mini is from <laughs> when I went to Disneyland. Now that my hair is out of the way. This side is gonna be my drugstore, more affordable side. And this side is gonna be my high end side. And I'm gonna pray to God that I don't <laughs> mix up the sides and start putting wrong products on each of the sides. First, I'm gonna start off with skincare. So I'm gonna go in and prime my lips. For the affordable side, I'm gonna go in with Body Shop's Honey Lip Balm. And for the high end side, I'm gonna go in with my Tatcha Camellia Gold Nourishing Lip Balm. This is gonna make sure that my lips are all nice and moisturized by the time we go in and put some liquid lipstick on, because you guys know liquid lipstick is my favorite and I've got a really good dupe for you as well. To moisturize my face, I'm gonna go in with the Body Shop Vitamin E face mist on this side and my Mario Badescu rose water on the high end side. I figured that both of these have rose water in them so they're bound to be somewhat similar so I thought why not just go for this. I find the spray on this so like bitty, it's not very smooth but I love the smell of it. I want to make sure my skin is looking nice and luminous so I'm gonna go with a illuminating base as well. On the drugstore side, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Lumi Magic Base and on the high end side, the MAC Strobe Cream and these are practically the same thing. The texture, the look of them, the feel of them, and what they do to your skin as well. I definitely wanna give you guys two other primer options as well. So I'm going to take my Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot on this side and the Makeup Forever Smoothing Base Primer on this side. And these are both like smoothing primers, so they're both gonna effectively do the same thing. Skin is all prepped and now moving straight onto foundation. On the high end side, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite high end foundations and that is the YSL Touche Eclat Foundation. This is in the shade BD45. And for the more affordable side, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. No. And on the more affordable side, I'm actually gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. These are the shades 120 and 220 and I'm gonna mix them together. These two foundations are really luminous, so they're gonna look really similar on the skin, and they have a similar consistency and coverage as well. Concealer-wise, I found this bit quite difficult because I really wanted to find a dupe for my Naked Skin Concealer from Herb Decay, but the closest thing that I could find was this Maybelline Anti-Age Eye Rewind Concealer thingy. So yeah, I'm gonna put these two on on the usual areas that I like to conceal and highlight, and then blend it all out with my Beauty Blender. So that's always underneath my eyes, on my forehead, on my chin, around my mouth and I'm gonna try and attempt to do it on my nose as well. I'm also trying to use my beauty blender like on two different sides so I don't mix up any of the product as well. I wanted to go full out for this tutorial so I am gonna cream contour and powder contour and all of that so I'm giving you guys all of the high end and low end options. So for the high end side, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. And for the more affordable side, I'm actually gonna take this Makeup Revolution palette. I think this is about 10 pounds. And you actually get two extra colors in comparison to the Anastasia Beverly Hills kit. And this is like half the price. So I'm gonna contour the usual areas of my face. From the Makeup Revolution palette, I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is kind of like a cool tone brown. So that's my cheekbones, my forehead, my jawline, my nose, and a little bit around my mouth as well. That, you guys, blended so, so well. I am so impressed, because this is the first time I've tried this, but I really do love the Makeup Revolution brand, because there's so many affordable things in there. So really liking the way that this is Blending out and also the color as well. Me like it. For the high end side, I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is again a very cool tone brown, and I'm gonna contour exactly the same places as the other side. 
I definitely feel like the ABH cream contour kind of blended into nothing, whereas the Makeup Revolution side, I feel like has performed way better. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of the ABH palette on the areas where I feel like it needs it. I feel like I defos need to clean up my contour, so I'm just gonna take the same concealers on the high end and low end side and just clean that up really slightly. Now it's time to set all of the cream areas in place. So for the high end side, I'm gonna use the ABH contour palette, which looks a little something like this. And on the affordable side, I'm gonna take this Makeup Revolution contour kit, and this is like the powder version of the cream contour kit, and I'm gonna set everything in place. So I'm gonna take a mixture of like all three of the darker shades and set all the contour areas. Guys, I'm so impressed with these contour kits. I am loving them. And this is just like from the first go. And then using this banana shade, I'm gonna set the areas where we applied the concealer. Again, I'm gonna take a mixture of all of these kind of darker shades to set the contour and then the banana shade to set any concealed and highlighted areas. Taking my damp beauty blend, I'm just gonna go over all the areas where we contoured and highlighted just so that everything's nice and meshed into place. Guys, can you even tell the difference between the two? Like, I seriously cannot see any difference. I feel like next I'm gonna move on to... No, I'm gonna finish the base off. I'm gonna move on to highlight. The two highlighters that I'm gonna choose, swatched, look very similar. One just looks a little bit warmer than the other. So for the high-end side, I'm gonna take Champagne Pop. And for the low-end side, I'm gonna take Mary Lou. And on the skin, I guarantee you, you won't be able to tell the difference. I'm gonna take both of these onto the tops of my cheeks, and then I'm also gonna gonna run it through my brow bone as well. Guys, do you see that glow? <gasps> okay, right, I need to stop. Moving on to the next side. I'm just gonna take a little bit of both of these down at the center of my nose as well. I'm just gonna add a bit of these two mists on the areas that we highlighted, just so it's nice and intense. I'm gonna wait for it to dry, just really slightly and then I'm gonna push it in place with my beauty blender. And this is just gonna get rid of any kind of powderiness and it's really gonna mesh it into the skin. To finish the cheeks off, I'm gonna add some blush. On the high end side, I'm gonna use Orgasm by NARS and on the low end side, I'm actually using the shade Rose Gold by Sleek. This one looks a little bit darker, but when they're actually on your cheeks, you literally cannot tell the difference, they look almost exactly the same. Okay, the base is done, and now we are gonna move on to brows and eyes. So for my brows, I'm gonna use Soap and Glory's Archery to fill this brow in, and Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz on this side. These look almost identical as well. I find that the ABH product is a little bit more like stiffer and like waxy, whereas the Soap and Glory gives a better color payoff. Now that my brows are looking nice and filled in, I'm gonna set them in place and also add a bit of volume. So I'm gonna use the Gimme Brow on this side and on this side, I'm gonna use the Soap and Glory Archery Volume Boost Brow Fiber Gel. So both of these have got fibers in them that are gonna make your brows look a little bit more fuller and it's also gonna set them in place. Eyeshadow time now, and first I'm gonna prime them. I'm so excited to do the eyeshadow because I have found, I think, the best dupe ever. So I'm um, gonna prime this side with my Air Patrol by Benefit, and on this side, I'm actually gonna use this Sephora Colorful Shadow and Liner, and this is actually waterproof. It's really, really good. I'm very quickly gonna set my eyelids in place using the banana shades from both of these contour palettes. Time to show you the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna use on the high-end side, the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. This is probably one of the most beautiful matte eyeshadow palettes that I own. The eyeshadows in this palette are so beautifully pigmented. They are such good quality and it's 
all in all a very expensive eyeshadow palette but it's got some beautiful matte shades in here which you can create so many different kind of eye looks with this. For the more affordable side I wanted to show you this which again is by Makeup Revolution. Funnily enough this is called the Light and Shade Palette. I wonder where they got the inspiration from but inside I want to show you just look at these shades. Exactly the same shades as this. Like, I'm not even kidding. Even the order of colors and even the three contouring shades at the top, they are pretty much exactly the same. I'm gonna do the affordable eye with you guys and I'm gonna tell you exactly what colors that I use, but I'm gonna speed through the high-end side because they're practically the same colors. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly build the crease up, so I'm gonna take the contouring shade right here and add that into the crease. Then I'm going to add this colour right here and add that into the crease as well. For all over the lid, I'm going to take this really nice deep brick red shade and just basically pack that onto my eyelid. I'm going to take that contour shade to just blend everything out in the crease. To add a bit of dimension to this eye, I'm going to take this black shade and this dark matte brown and I'm going to smoke that out into the outer corner of my eye. Okay, I've got the top of my eyelid all eyeshadowed up and I'm going to do the exact same thing with the exact same colours because they're all basically the same on to this eye. Apart from the Kat Von D palette being a little bit more pigmented, obviously they're better quality eyeshadows because of the price point. This is possibly like the best dupe that you could ever buy which is a fraction of the price because I think this is around £10 whereas this I swear it cost me almost £50 so I mean they look pretty similar in my eyes so you know you guys be the judge oh, this is really hurting my head I want to do like a really dramatic wing on both my eyes so I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Aqualiner in black on this eye and I'm actually going to use the NYX Liquid Black Liner on this eye because they have a really similar finish because I find that some eyeliners are really matte or some of them are quite satin or some of them are like really glossy. These ones are kind of in between. If you guys would like to see a full in-depth tutorial of how I do my winged eyeliner then I will leave a link to it in the info box below. But for now I'm gonna go and create a nice wing which is quite elongated on both of my eyes. Okay, today is definitely one of those days where my eyeliner just does not want to look the same, so we're gonna roll with this. And now I'm just gonna move on to tight lining. So I'm gonna tight line both of my upper water lines on this side with the Hourglass Gel Retractable Eyeliner and on this side with the Bourjois Waterproof Clubbing Eyeliner. For the lower water lines, I'm gonna go in with nudes. So I'm gonna take Charlotte Tilbury Nude Eyeliner on this eye and the Rimmel Scandalized Nude on this eye. The mascara I'm going to use on the high end side is the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara, which I don't particularly like, but I actually found this L'Oreal Miss Hippie Mascara. So this is what the wand looks like on the Miss Hippie, and this is the wand on the Too Faced. Like, they are almost identical. I thought, why not go with these two mascaras? So I'm going to take the Miss Hippie onto my more affordable side, and then the Too Faced on this side. Before I add any mascara to my lower lashes, I need to sort out my lower lash line. Okay, I think I'm gonna take these two end shades right here, which are really nice warm brownie shades, which will look really nice on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna just smoke them out underneath there to add some dimension. Now that that's sorted, it's time to add mascara to my lower lashes. I'm gonna add falsies once my mascara has dried. So last thing makeup wise to do is lips. On this side, I'm gonna take Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. And on this side, I'm gonna take East End Snob Lip Liner by Rimmel. I'm gonna line and also fill in my lips with these. And they are almost the same shade. They're slightly off, but they're gonna be hidden because we're gonna put some lipstick on top. As the eyes are quite dark, I'm gonna opt for a nude lip. On the high end side, I'm gonna take Cool Girl by Too Faced. And this is a matte liquid lipstick. And on this side, I'm gonna take the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Sandstorm. And these are basically almost exactly the same color. Is it me or does that just look like the same lipstick? Liquid Suede side isn't like super matte like this one. So I'm just gonna blot it really slightly to get rid of the shine. 
Last but not least, I'm just gonna pop some lashes on. I don't really have any high-end versus low-end lashes, so I'm just gonna take these backstage lashes in the style Soho. I really like backstage lashes because they're really, really light on the eyes. They don't feel really heavy, but they're quite dramatic at the same time. Okay, only a couple more steps left, and next I'm gonna set my face. On this side, I'm gonna use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Plus, and on this side, the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel in the shade 004. I don't like putting too much setting powder on. I literally just like swirl it and like kind of press it in because I don't like my skin looking too matte. Final step is here and that is to set our makeup. And on this side I'm gonna use the Makeup All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. And on the more affordable side, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. With the L'Oreal one, you wanna give it a good shake before applying it because there's like this white powder inside. And that, you guys, is the end of this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed the high-end versus the low-end makeup and face situation going on. I really do not think you can tell the difference of what side is high-end and what side is low-end, but I'm so happy with this makeup look as a whole. I think it's very kind of autumnal and like it's a nice kind of transition makeup look to wear for like autumn time because we are gonna be getting into like the more deeper, darker colors in the makeup world, which I am so looking forward to. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you want me to do more videos like this, so like high-end versus low-end. I really love filming these. But yeah, give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video, and I guess that is all for now, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!